Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today's project is a little bit different. Usually I make a whole creature for you guys, but today we're going to be making just part of a creature. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make resin claws for your creatures using Play-Doh as the molding material. It's really fun and simple, so let's get started. Okay, before we start making our molds, we need something to mold. So I'm going to sculpt the original claw that all the other claws are going to be based off of. I'm going to take a piece of wire and I'm going to apply some clay over it. I'm going to start working the clay until I have the shape that I like. You don't need to worry about textures or anything like that because right now we want a nice smooth surface to make the mold with. Now in the process of testing this out, I did get one claw that I really liked. In fact, I like the shape of it better than the original claw. I'm not sure why it came out different, but I really want to work with this one instead. So basically, I made this using the other claw, and I'm going to use this to make newer claws. Now you can see that it's made out of kind of scrap resin. It's got paint and all kinds of different colors twirled in it because I was testing different things out. Um, but the claws we're going to make are going to look a lot different than this. Now the resin I'm working with is a simple crystal clear casting resin. See that five times fast. <laughs> but I got this at my local art store. It's really simple to use. It comes with two different bottles and you'll take equal parts from each bottle and mix those together to make your resin. Um, if you buy resin, make sure to follow the instructions because it may not work the same way as this resin. Now when picking out the Play-Doh that you want to use, make sure you pick a color that you like because it will stain the resin. Unless you plan on painting the claw afterwards, you'll want to pick a color that you want to work with. I found this out the hard way, but I ended up liking the results of it and that's why I'm continuing to use it. So I picked out a nice blue color and I'm going to use two tubs of this and the reason for that is I want to fill a whole tub and um, they don't fill a whole tub of Play-Doh with Play-Doh. You get like a little tiny piece inside of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the clay from both containers and I'm going to mix it together really well so it's nice and smooth and doesn't have any creases. And then I'm going to shape it so that I can push it into one of the containers without getting air caught in it. After I'm done putting the clay into the container, I'm going to take my claw and see how deep I can put it in before I touch the bottom of the tub and break through the clay. I don't want the resin to get stuck to the container, so I'm just going to make sure that I don't push it all the way in. Now when taking the claw out of the clay, make sure you wiggle it just a bit to loosen the seal, and then you'll want to pull it straight out. You'll want to be careful not to touch the clay as you're pulling it out, because you'll mess up the shape that you have inside. Now after pulling the claw out of the clay, I'm going to take my mixture of resin and I'm going to pour it into that hole. Now normally with like molds and stuff, you would just set this aside somewhere safely, but you don't want the clay to dry out, and Play-Doh will dry out in the air. So I'm going to take a large Tupperware and I'm going to seal this inside of that so that the clay will not dry up and then we can mix it up and use it again afterwards. Otherwise you're just going to have to chisel it off of the claw afterwards. Okay, it's the following morning and I'm going to take my claw out of the Play-Doh. So I'm going to open this up and do my best to get the clay out of the container and then we're going to scrape all the Play-Doh off of the claw. Now afterwards I did use some soap and water to clean it up a little bit more. You can see the big difference between how it looks and how it looks now. It's really pretty. It kind of looks like ice. This is why I picked blue. So I really like how this claw came out. In fact, I'm going to make a bunch more so we can use them on a future project. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. Okay guys, and that's how I made resin claws using Play-Doh. It was a lot of fun. It's super simple. I really hope you guys try it out. If you want to do something more detailed, I do recommend getting actual molding kits because this just doesn't work for everything. But if you want to make horns or claws or something, it's a really simple way to mess around with making them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!